All right, here we go. Today's workout is going to be our leg push day. We'll start off with some I go, you go. It's five minutes of I go, you go sled push and five minutes of I go, you go sprint. You do either one first, second, doesn't matter which one you do first. Um, you do sled push and you do sprint. For your sled push, you want to go about 40 yards down, back, or just down, depending on how much room you have, where you have a sled. So one partner's gonna go, they're gonna do their lap or their 40 yards, and the other partner's gonna go do theirs. So one partner will be going, the other partner will be resting. Five minutes. Now you give yourself about two minutes rest in between, you'll do another five minutes, same idea of sprint. So one partner's gonna sprint 100 yards, the other partner's gonna sprint 100 yards. Once the second partner's done, first partner goes again, and the second partner goes again. Again, five minutes of each of those. There we go, four rounds, 24 minutes to get through your four rounds. So you don't have to rush through everything. You wanna think about heavy weight with all your exercises. We're gonna do eight reps of squats. You do kettlebell squats, dumbbell squats, or you can blow the bar, do barbell back squats. Either one is fine. Eight reps. We're gonna do a foot up lunge. Eight reps on each leg. Again, with kettlebells, dumbbells, or you can do body weight, whatever's gonna challenge you on eight reps. Then we're gonna have 16 reps of sumo squats. Again, with some weights, kettlebells, dumbbells. And then you're gonna have eight reps on each leg of pistol squats. You can do those with assistance, body weight, or if you can, you can do them with some weights. So go through variations on all those exercises. All right, so we'll start off with our squats. So if you just have kettlebells, dumbbells, I'll show you how to do the front squats close. You want to have those kettlebells up by the shoulders to clean them up. You can either have a rack in front of your chest like this, or if it helps to keep your shoulders racked, bring them to the side. You just don't want to round your back as you're doing your squats. So whatever will help to keep your shoulders back. Feet nice, comfortable distance apart. Maybe shoulder width or a little bit wider. Toes forward. Knees track towards the toes. You're gonna sit that butt down, nice and low. Think about getting those elbows almost all the way down to the knees, and stand up, nice and tall, to come to the top. Again, sit that butt down low. Knees track to the toes. Chest and head are up. Tall to the top. Eight reps of your squats. Then you do your foot up lunges. So grab a bench, box, pounds, whatever you have. Ideally, again, you're gonna want to do these with weight. Then you put one foot on the bench. You can have your toes on the bench, or flat foot, top of the foot, either way, whatever is more comfortable for you. Opposite leg is gonna be maybe about a yard out away from the bench, somewhere around there. It's to bring that back knee down towards the ground. Try to keep that front knee stacked over the ankle, get down as low as you can, and then come back up nice and tall. Like I said, you can do these with body weight or kettlebells. You're doing with kettlebells, think about holding those kettlebells suitcase style so you can get them down, almost touching the ground. Think about kettlebells just behind the heel on that front leg. So you do your eight reps on one side, the switch. And you do your eight reps on the other leg. Again, challenge yourself with weight and blows. Next, we have our sumo squat. So for sumo squats, you get a wide stance. A little bit outside the shoulder width apart. Then you're going to turn your toes out to the side at about maybe a 45 degree angle. You're only using one kettlebell, so you might be able to go a little bit heavier with this one. When you squat down, you want to think about pushing your hips open and your knees out towards the toes, again, at that 45 degree angle. If you squat down, you're going to grab your belt. Chest and head are up. Bring it all the way up to standing. And then back down, try to get again as close to the ground as you can. You might even be able to touch the ground with the kettlebells on this one. So you do 16 reps of your sumo squat. And last, you have our pistol squat. 
couple options for pistol squat. This is a one-legged squat if you need to. If you don't have a full range of motion. You can squat to a bench or you can stand up off a bench. You start to seated in position. One leg is straight, one foot is flat. Then you can push yourself up off the bench. Then if you need to, you can reset. Back to the bench. Back up. Get your head. Start on the bench. Push yourself up. And then staying on that one foot. Try to squat back down to that seated position. Next variation still using the bench is squat, touch, and then back up. Try not to go all the way to seated. If you want to get a more full range of motion, grab something, grab a bar. Heel should be on the ground, one leg is straight. You're going to come down as far as you can into that squat position. So one thing, butt down to the heels, and then you're going to push yourself up. Again, you have that hand on whatever you're using to help assist you. If you have something else you can grab onto, jungle chip handles, or a band, you can go up with your assistance. So, jungle chip. Grab the handle, sit down in that, in that pistol squat, leg is straight, and use the handle to help pull you up. Same idea with the band. Bands offer a little bit less help, and a little bit more full. So sit down into that pistol squat, and then come up. Use that band for a little bit of assistance. Again, they have more stretch, so it's a little bit less help. Uh, for your pistol squat. Obviously you can do regular pistol squats, just getting that butt down to the heel, heel flat on the ground, standing back up, or you can always hold the kettlebell out in front of you. All right, so let's again recap. So five minutes, I go, you go. Sled push. Five minutes, I go, you go. Sprints, 100 yards. Then four rounds in 24 minutes. Eight squats, kettlebells, dumbbells, or loading the bar and doing back squats. Then, eight reps in each leg, foot up lunges, 16 of your sumo squats, and then eight reps on each leg of your pistol squat. As always, any questions, comments, let me know. Let's have a great workout. Let's go, let's go.